Good afternoon to those of you tuning in and welcome to Liverpool and our little oratory. I mention Liverpool because I'm just re-recording this. I can't believe, it must be that I am somewhat distracted at the moment, but I just recorded a message which I thought was going to be okay until I started listening to it and I said, welcome to Birmingham. I, heaven knows what's going on in my mind. I haven't been to Birmingham for a little while. But anyway, we are actually in Liverpool, back here at Bishop Eden. And uh, life is fairly busy at the moment, I have to admit. Um, the day began wonderfully, I have to say, with the reception class doing their Christmas pageant in school. And it was just wonderful. It reminded me of what our Lord said, unless you become like little children, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Here were these little children uh, presenting us with the wonderful story of Christmas, the story that just captures our imagination. And as a little angel stood there and said, I'm an angel sent by God, it gave me the opening at the end to thank them and to say, actually, I think we've got 60 little angels sent by God today to remind us of how we should trust and focus on the Lord. And so I hope your Christmas preparations are going uh, as well as mine in that sense. Um, this evening, we have the carol service in the church for Much Wilton School down there at six o'clock at St. Mary's, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I had a meeting with the trustees this morning over Redemptorist Publications, which was a very fruitful meeting. Uh, and indeed, at three o'clock this afternoon, I'm recording this at just quarter past two, um, I've got a meeting uh, with, uh, at the uh, diocesan offices. So it's a fairly busy Thursday, and as you can see, not a day off. Um, people do keep reminding me to try and make sure I find time, and I'm a great believer that there, there is always time, and if we can prioritise it well, um, that's important. Uh, and I hope I try to do that. I, I hate people to feel that I'm too busy um, because there are important things to be attended to. Uh, but at the same time, I also know it's important to nurture uh, those quiet times and our own spiritual lives. So I have made a decision this year, believe it or not. Um, I'm, I'm surprised at myself, but I'm feeling peaceful about it. Uh, never in my life before have I not tried to send out all the Christmas cards. But this year I just decided uh, I couldn't foresee how I was going to manage to do it without it becoming a burden, which didn't seem like a good idea. I love receiving Christmas cards. I love sending Christmas cards. So for those of you uh, who tune into this and don't get a Christmas card this year, I am still alive and kicking. Um, and I'm going to try after Christmas just to respond and uh, send a message to people um, and make it as personal as possible. Um, I hope I can manage to do that. Obviously, we get quite a lot of Christmas cards from the parishioners and we can say thank you to them uh, at our masses and uh, if we see them personally and so on. Um, but nevertheless, uh, people do send from all over the place and I, I'm very grateful for that because, <coughs> as you know, I'm a great believer uh, in the importance and value of friendship. Well, we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, but just to ask you to pray because we have quite a lot of sickness at the moment uh, in both parishes. Uh, and indeed in the community. Father Bever hearn has been poorly for a little while now um, and uh, we're praying that he's going to get his strength back in time for Christmas but he's such a, a gentle, patient man, a wonderful gift to, to the community and a, and a great confidant for me. So do pray for Bev, he's 94, he's the, uh, the senior member of the whole province uh, and we love him dearly and we hope uh, he will soon be that little bit stronger and better and able to come down to uh, the refectory and come along to Mass and so on. Um, meanwhile, we continue to look after him and do pray for those who are sick in both parishes. And alongside that, we've also had quite a number of deaths. In, indeed, it's, it's been really unusually busy uh, with funerals. Just yesterday, we had Lillian Johnson. And next week in Bishop Eaton Church, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, all the midday Masses are funerals. We've got Celia Pritchard on Monday, Sheila Turner on Wednesday and Margaret Sarsfield on Friday. And even in the week of Christmas itself, uh, Christopher Grange have asked us, can we provide a priest for a funeral there on the Thursday? And then we go into January and we've already got Michael Poole and Maureen Watkins funerals on the third and the fifth. So I would ask you please to pray for the repose of their souls, to pray for their families, to pray for that peace. Um, it's always a privilege to celebrate funeral masses um, and allow the Lord to, to remind us of his promises and of the, the great inheritance that is, is ours, the kingdom. And uh, let's ask the Lord to help us to establish that kingdom in our hearts, which is where we come back to the whole notion of friendship. 
Jesus saying to us, I do not call you servants anymore, I call you friends. And you know I picked up on that insight of, of Timothy Ratcliffe, the, the Dominican, who gave that retreat to the Synod members just a few weeks ago, where he reflected that um, we talk about falling in love, but making friends. We, we work at that friendship. And I do treasure all these friendships that I've made down during my life, and, uh, and I love to nurture them. So let's pray for one another. Let's pray that our Christmas preparations uh, will be successful in every way, all the practical things will be done, but uh, even more importantly, that deep in our hearts we will experience the friendship of the Lord, the friendship which, through the Lord, unites us with one another and which takes us to the Father, all happening through the power of the Holy Spirit who makes Christ present in all the sacraments and is with us in all our prayers. So we turn to Our Lady, too, who was given to us as our mother, and we think of the saints, especially our patron saints, today the Feast of St John of the Cross. Let's ask them to join us in our prayer, to help us with our Christmas preparations, to help us to keep a serene and peaceful uh, interior so that everything is done for the glory of God. I ask God's blessing on your homes, on your families. We ask God's blessing on our schools and our parishes, and we pray that the peace that we experience will radiate across the world. May the Lord bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.